Alrighty, so from 92, I think it's 92, I have Cool World. Yeah, Brad Pitt, Kim, Basin Kim Basinger, um, what's the other motherfucker? Gabriel Byrne? Yeah, Gabriel Byrne, yeah, that's right, he's in that, yeah. I'm trying to remember everything. So, I finished this same day. I figured out what's wrong with it. Because I watched this thing twice before and could not wrap my head around what the fuck was wrong with it. It's half a movie. It literally is half of a movie. If they made the other half, say, 90 minutes worth, it would be damn good. As it is, though, 7 out of 10. Why do I say half a movie? Because it literally... Um, it jumps into it. That's a good thing because most films take their time building it up. This one just jumps into it without any explanation about Cool World itself or, um, or no, they, um, yeah, no explanation on the world. They throw in Brad's backstory real quick. Um, what was the other one? There was something else. I can't remember what the fuck it was. I mean, everything was explained in the film, but kind of like half-assed. So if they were to go back, give Brad a full backstory properly and explain Cool World itself, it'd be a lot better and it'd be a decent underrated gem, but Eh, oh well. So, that's how I feel about Cool World. But if you love this movie and it's one of your top favorites, you know, check it out again. See if you really like it again. If not, that's fine. That's cool. That's the whole point of these reviews is that, you know, it's my opinion on this shit versus, you know, how you feel. But, they're all opinions are assholes. We all got one. So, I'm back with a book review. Stay tuned.